you're telling the truth. They don't vote for those people. So that's what's wrong with Americans being no, no, no. They can't it's, recognize the truth when they see it. It's, no, it's, it's more important than that. Yeah. Our government is broken. Representative government is broken. And the problem has to be dealt with as an emergency. We can get off of oil in five years. We can get off of carbon in 10 years. All we need is a little bit of leadership. Just yeah, a little. I, you know what I don't understand? I mean, with all due respect, they were going in with this transformational idea. Well, anybody who had any experience would know that you can't do that in common sense. That's our whole foreign policy. You're talking about American imperialism here. And, well, and we had no right to even go there. It's their country, not ours. Really, what, keep in mind, what, what, what we're all talking about is how to do a mistake competently. That's really what this is. We made a mistake going in, and so we're now trying to figure out how you can do this conflict. You can't. It's a mistake. You walk away. We can, if we withdraw our troops and we can get them out in 120 days, we can bring about peace there. All we've got to do is go to Iran, go to Syria, go to Saudi Arabia and say, we screwed up. Help us restabilize your region of the world. And they would do it. They would help us. Tell you what, pull everybody out. Of course it's going to be a disaster. They have more at stake in our in that area of the world than we can use diplomacy. And now we're looking at them as an excuse to expand the war, which is the plan the neocons had back in 1997. And so when Democrats buy into the problem of Iran, they just help Vice President Cheney. And I have a proposal, and it's the only one that talks of change. Change is to empower the American people with a national initiative. And my colleagues, with all due respect, don't even understand the principle of the people having the power. Now, the Democratic presidential contenders will square off in tonight's AFL-CIO forum hosted by MSNBC's Keith Olbermann. The notable exception, former Senator Mike Gravel, who joins me now. Senator, it's great to see you today. Thank you very much for having me. I know that you've written a book called Jobs and More Jobs, so it seems like this would be an important forum for you to express your views on labor. Why aren't you there in Chicago? Because I wasn't invited. I have a message. I want to empower the American people. I don't want politics as usual. We need to get out of Iraq and we need to change our tax code.